Hey everybody, Mrs. Buttershawn here. So here's how we put Avogadro's number in Desmos Scientific Calculator. So you're gonna start by using your parentheses. Always use a parenthesis. It's better to be safe than sorry, especially when you start doing math with Avogadro's number. So parenthesis, then your 6.022 times 10. Now the exponent's the tricky part. You need to look for the button that says A to the B power, okay? You're gonna click on that one and then you're, hit, you're gonna hit your 23. And then I like to just go over and close my parentheses. You can see that our answer is giving us Avogadro's number already. So you can go ahead and um, try one that would be a real problem. So I'm just gonna go ahead and type it in again times 10. Make sure you hit this button right here, the A to the B power, and we're gonna put 23 and go ahead and close those parentheses. Now, let's say we're gonna multiply that by another number. I'm just gonna make up a random number. We're gonna say 2.33, and you know what? We're gonna add our parentheses, just like I said, right? So 2.33 um, times 10, and we're gonna do that to the 24th power this time. So 24th power, and then we're gonna close those parentheses, and you can see our answer is already here. Um, so I, if I go ahead and push enter, you can see that it's been recorded for us. Um, so this would be our answer to that. I hope this was helpful, you guys. Okay, here's Avogadro's number on a TI-30XS. You're gonna use the button right after the second. It's actually the log button. So again, add your parentheses first and do the 6.022 times now you hit the second and the button right underneath it that says log, and that will give you the times 10. You can go ahead and write the 23 and then toggle over to the right one so you can close those parentheses. If you hit the enter button, you will see you get Avogadro's number. So I'm gonna do this one more time for you and I'm gonna go ahead and multiply Avogadro's number by a different number so that you can see this worked out. Notice I'm putting the parentheses and then I'm gonna hit the multiplication button. My next number that's not Avogadro's number is also gonna be getting parentheses. So you put the number, you hit the um, times, and then you hit second log, and that will pull up the 10 for you. You don't have to type the 10. And then you put whatever exponent you want um, for your word problem, and then close the parentheses and hit enter. I hope this was helpful, everyone. Go ahead and subscribe to see more on my channel. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.